Hello. Hello there. I will um, round and round. So, uh, my name is Radu and um, I want you to know that I'm very, very, very nervous, Lodica. And maybe I will faint a little. But if I faint, I want a girl to give me mouth to mouth resuscitation. I think I prefer that one. Let's make a test, okay? I don't know, I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. It's okay. I was joking. Good. I'm from Romania. I'm not the son of Dracula, but I could be. Um, what am, why am I saying this? Because all the people know about Romania the next two things. Georgi Haji, the football player, Real Madrid and Barcelona star, and the blood sucker. Galatasaray. Galatasaray, yes. And the blood sucker, Dracula from Transylvania. Everybody knows about Dracula story? Right? Yeah? Yes. I don't want to disappoint you, but Dracula it didn't exist. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not allowed to say this. I didn't know. Why did you say that? Uh, so, uh, forget about this, Dracula is still existing, maybe right now he's sleeping in his castle in Transylvania, it's okay. Good, as I said, my name is Radu, um, I'm a actor, director, producer, vlogger, I'm a star of that. So, um, yes, uh, I'm from, uh, I lived in a small town from, uh, from Romania, I came from a poor family. My mother is a, is a cook and my father is a construction worker. Um, my childhood wasn't, wasn't uh, easy, uh, especially in high school, because uh, my parents divorced. Uh, our father left us. And uh, <clears throat> I remained just with my mother and my sister. Um, my mother couldn't uh, give us money because he didn't have money enough for for all and I started to work I work uh, I worked as a waiter as a car washer as a commercial worker all of that at 16 years old and uh, after that hard work I realized to work with my body is very difficult and this in this life I don't want to work with my body I want to work smart with my mind and with my brain and uh, after that uh, I did something that I'm not proud I started to deal yes drugs and other other stuff like phones fake big brands fake clothes like I don't know or money or something like that uh, Anything else that could me make money for, for that period for me and for my family. Um, <clears throat> so, after that episode, uh, after high school, I moved to Bucharest, the capital of Romania. Uh, and uh, here I went to university, but I, I left university after one year. Uh, and I, uh, start, I built my own company. Yes, I know, it sounds very big and important. My own company, but actually it was a kid's body company. To be more specific, I was Spider-Man, Batman, I was Clown, I was Superman, I think I was Elsa at some point. Uh, yes, because the girl that I worked with in that period was gone and I put the blonde wing on my head and I went on to make money, so... Nobody knows about me. I was Elsa. Good. Uh, <clears throat> but during in that period at 20, I guess, uh, I had a serious turning point. I started to perform magic. To be more specific, I was mentalist. So uh, be careful with your thoughts. I know what you're thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> yes, for five years. Uh, it was a very good period for me. I made a lot of money. Uh, but I discovered movie making in, uh, in that period and I really fell in love for the first time in my life not with a woman, with, a, with a movie making and um, I quit my magician career 
I'm smart. I quit my magician career and uh, it was a very risky decision because in short time I lost all my money, obviously. And um, I couldn't, but the problem was I couldn't pay my rent and my bills for me and for my, for my family and for my sister. And uh, in one of many nights that I couldn't sleep, I, I, I was looking in the mirror and I said to myself, Dude, I know you are in love with this movie making, but you don't have money, you don't have food, you can't help your family. Isn't okay, do something. Or maybe you want to deal again. That cannot be possible, I said in that moment. And uh, after that, I started to learn marketing. Because I knew how to promote things. Uh, I made my own advertising when I, when I, uh, when I had a children party company and magician career. And I think that period was a gift for God, for me. Because uh, I understood the human mind and behaviors. And after that, I developed a strategy for YouTube for my artistic career. So, uh, after that, I succeeded as an artist with two original ideas. One of them is Music Vine, and the second is a YouTube series about high school. Uh, in one year and a half, more or less, I, um, I have right now, I think, YouTube channel with uh, 700,000 subscribers with 150 million views, over 150 million views, just in one year and a half. I set the Romanian YouTube record for 48 top 10 trendings in a row in just one year. Great. And I had the fastest growth in, in Romania in 2019. So, uh, I told you about this gift for, for the God. My strategy was a combination between marketing and art and comedy. That was my strategy. And uh, I developed a plan with, uh, for this. And uh, in, this, in this series, in this YouTube series, I, um, I learned about, about um, people pleasures. First, people love to laugh. First of them, people love to laugh. And second, people love to express their opinion, I think. Uh, and with the second, I conquered uh, my country. Because I think people love to express their opinion about anything. It doesn't matter if they know about the topic or not. Um, let me give you an example. In my series, uh, let's imagine a fight scene. I, cu I cut the scene in a, very, in a very critical moment, full of suspense. And I ask to my audience, if you, if you were me, uh, would you like to continue to fight or would you run away? Uh, and 98% of them will say I should continue to fight because no one wants to be a coward. And I think that was my strategy. I create the illusion of choice. I told you I was a mentalist. I created the illusion of choice. I know maybe it sounds devilish or manipulative, but it's just a smart marketing strategy. Uh, and after they, after they say, uh, after they said me, I should, I should want to, to fight. Uh, in the next episode, when they will, when they will, uh, when they will see that I apply their opinion, they will feel an enormous satisfaction. And I think that is the key. Uh, they will like to come over and over again to see my series or my videos because I apply their opinion. And they, they will feel important, they will feel, they will be happy on my, on my YouTube channel. Because I, I, because their opinion count on me. Um, I think in, in, uh, in uh, 2019, in our, in our life, 
there is a big war between numbers and uh, numbers and quality. I think a lot of influencers care too much about about numbers, and I know it's it's difficult because easy numbers um, is is in direct is is very satisfied for your ego. I um, I I um, I was there. It's very nice to make uh, one million. I don't know. For example, one million with an episode with easy work. But I think it's a huge mistake and a big mistake because um, these wrong numbers uh, won't be a solid structure for your career. And more of this, this wrong number will be um, will transmit the wrong message. Uh, I have a question. How, how many parents do we have here? Parents, yes, parents, parents. Oh, nice, congratulation. Uh, I have a stupid question for you. St stupid question for you. Would you like to see your child learn bad jokes or bad things from an influencer or from YouTube? Definitely not. Obviously, definitely not. I think we all, all, all of us will have child in, in one moment, and I think no one wants to have a frustrated kid or introverted kid because of another kid who, who see a bad joke on YouTube or on an influencer. And I think it's, it's our responsibility as an influencer to, to be symbols for that young uh, girls and boys because um, I think we can change minds with, uh, with, uh, with this and I think we need to care more about quality, not numbers. Uh, <clears throat> because maybe in one day all of us will die I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure about this, and I think it's up to us to change numbers to quality. And with this, I think we can change minds and uh, and mentalities. I think it's not all about just videos and jokes and humor and I don't know comedy. I think it's more deep. I think comedy uh, can be like a knife. With a knife, you can kill a people or you can cut the bread for a homeless. And I think it's up to us uh, how, 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 uh, in, in what sense you, we, we, we use this. It was my pleasure to be in front of you. Thank you.